Hi, this is Matt Sauger, and I am excited to share with you prophetic insights for 2015. The first is a prophetic warning and unction to pray. One of the things that the Lord showed me was that here on American soil, there are ISIS and terrorist groups already here in the land. And the Lord said to pray that there will be an uncovering and an exposure of anything that the enemy has planned. And if we'll pray, and as we pray, God will uncover and expose any terrorist demonic plot that the enemy has set against our nation, America. So I encourage you to pray into it. Just pray for every veil, every hidden thing to be brought out into the open, and the Lord will intervene and intercept anything that the enemy has planned. Now I have some exciting news for you for 2015. This is going to be a year of the release of double portion inheritance. God is gonna give you double for your trouble and it's gonna be the year of divine favor. One of the scriptures God put on my heart was Isaiah 40. And I wanna read this to you. It says, a voice of one who cries, prepare in the wilderness the way of the Lord, clear away the obstacles, make straight and smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley will be lifted up, every mountain will be brought low, and the crooked, uneven places will be made straight and level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh will see it together. And right before that scripture, it declares here, to speak tenderly to the heart of Jerusalem, to, to cry to her that her time of service and her warfare are ended and that God would release from his hand double for all of her sins. There is something that the Lord is releasing from his hand and it's a double portion anointing and inheritance to you this year. And in the process, God is going before his people and he is removing every obstacle. He's clearing out every hindrance, every valley is coming up, every mountain is coming down. God is going before you and he is clearing out everything that would try to hinder the plan of God for your life or that would hinder the road that is before you. God is clearing those obstacles out of the way. God is even going before his people and he's clearing out even any plots or plans or assignments that the enemy had for your life. And God is gonna clear it out of the way before you even get there. And in the process, there is going to be a revelation of the glory of God in your life. Also in Isaiah chapter 61, it also makes a declaration of the double portion. In verse seven, instead of your former shame, you'll have a twofold recompense. Instead of dishonor and reproach, your people will rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double what they had forfeited and everlasting joy will be theirs. God is releasing double for your trouble. Even opportunities that you think you missed, even, even things you think you forfeited, God is going to release double back into your life this year. Now, Isaiah 61 also makes a declaration that was strong in my heart in verse 2. Proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the year of His favor. This is going to be a year of divine favor favor, where as the favor of God is released, there's a grace coming upon you this year, a grace for double portion, a grace for divine favor. And part of that favor is obstacles and things that hindered you in your past season. They're not going to follow you into this new season that you're coming into. Things that try to limit you and hinder you, they are not going to follow you into your next season. It's going to be a year of the favor of the Lord. And then it goes on to talk about this oil of joy instead of mourning expressive praise instead of a burden failing heavy spirit god is going to break this heavy spirit off of people and he's going to clothe you with expressive praise 2015 for the believer is going to be a very joyful happy year it's going to be happy 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 there's going to be supernatural joy and favor and double portion on your life. Now, I also saw a vision where the Lord was clearing a garden. I saw this beautiful garden, but then all of a sudden I saw different patches in the garden that looked empty. And I said, Lord, the garden looks empty. And God said, no, Matt, I wanna show you from my perspective what I'm doing. I am simply creating space to fill. So in your life, if you look at your life and you feel like things, things are just empty in some spaces in your life, it's God preparing that place so that he can fill it with an even greater harvest and an even greater fruitfulness and abundance. Now, there is something else that the Lord is releasing. This year, God is going to be releasing divine 
strategy. And in the scripture where it talks about, um, you know, the Lord spoke to Peter to throw the nets back in. And with one word from the Lord, Peter was like, I toiled all night long and I didn't catch anything. And with one word from the Lord, he threw the nets back in and the abundance was so much that it filled up two boats so that the two boats couldn't even hold all the fish that came in. God is about to download and release creative insights, impressions and strategies to people that are going to shift you from a place of self-striving into a place of operating and living from the ease of God, the rest of God, the Sabbath of God, because it's not going to be your self striving to try to make something happen, but from a position of Sabbath rest. And that is a focus of the Holy Spirit on this year, that you are going to live from the finished work of Christ. You're gonna live out of this place of the Sabbath where it's not just one day a week of rest, but it's a spiritual position of rest, where from the finished work of Christ, you are going to work for the Lord, but it's not going to be in self-effort. It's going to be under divine inspiration and divine unction and divine guidance. And with one little act of obedience to the word of the Lord, there's going to be such an abundant harvest release where self-striving produced nothing or there was just toil and labor. And, and you felt like, oh God, I don't see the results that I want to see. With one creative strategy and, and thought from the Lord, there's going to be amazing abundance released in your life. And another thing that God showed me is that he's bringing us into a season of crystal clarity. You are about to hear the voice of God clearer than you've ever heard his voice before. God is gonna cause you, just like Jesus said, I do nothing except what I see the Father do. And, and the key word there is nothing. He didn't, he didn't do anything except what he saw and what he heard. And he heard with crystal clarity. And you are gonna hear the voice of God. He's gonna speak to you. You're gonna discern his voice. And it's gonna come forth with divine crystal clarity. And in the process, God is raising up a new wineskin. He's making all things new. Another thing that the Lord showed me for 2015 was that he is going to make all things new. He's going to make your faith new. He's going to make your vision new. He's going to make your prayer life new. He's going to make your focus new. He's going to make your experience of God's presence. Even your intimacy with God is going to be new. He's making all things new. And in that process, there's a new wineskin. And part of this new wineskin will be divine relational associations and alignments where God is going to, through relationship, connect you in with the body of Christ. And as these divine alignments and relationships come together, it's going to raise up a new wineskin because there is a new wine coming. I want you to get ready for it. And I want you to get ready for God to make all things new in your life. There's a new move of the Holy Spirit coming and it's going to be in the midst of a new wineskin that will be able to sustain what God releases in this hour. So get ready to live from a new place of rest. Get ready for divine strategies. Get ready for a new grace on your life, a new favor on your life, a double portion inheritance on your life. This will be a year of divine joy for the people of God. So I loose it over you today. I declare it over you today as we go into 2015. Yes, pray as the Holy Spirit leads us to pray for demonic assignments to be broken and unveiled and for God to intercept it before it happens. But I also want you to know from divine perspective that this is an amazing season and you are gonna live from the finished work. You're gonna live in divine rest and it's gonna be very joyful. God bless you.